It is April 2020, and we are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, a worldwide disease caused by the novel coronavirus. In just a few short months, the world has been reminded of the huge impact that viruses can have. So, what are viruses? Viruses are infectious agents, parasites that need to infect a host cell in order to reproduce or carry out any functions. They are not cells and cannot do any of their own metabolism, so they are generally considered to be non-living. They are incredibly small, much smaller than even the smallest bacterial cell, with a common size of around 100 nanometers. That means that about one quadrillion viruses could fit in the volume of this marble I'm holding. It is estimated that the number of viruses on Earth is millions of times greater than the number of stars in the entire universe, and that all living things can be infected by some type of virus. All viruses have some characteristics in common. They always have a genetic material in the form of a nucleic acid, either DNA or RNA. This is the instructions for how to build more viruses. They also always have a protein coat called a capsid that encloses their genetic material, as well as other proteins that help them infect cells, such as viral enzymes or spike proteins that help them gain entry. Some also have a membrane on the outside called an envelope. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, as you can see in these electron microscope images of some viruses. Viruses hijack your cells and turn them into virus factories. They do this by inserting their genetic material and viral enzymes into your cell. Once inside, your cell is tricked into following the instructions of the viral DNA or RNA to make more viral DNA or RNA and viral proteins. So the virus uses your cell machinery to reproduce itself and pump out more viruses that can then spread by infecting other cells. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe, and check out the other free games, quizzes, and interactive learning experiences at Bioman Biology.